YouTube, it's Lakin. I just wanted to do a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right now. Um, if you're interested in seeing how I got this look, keep watching. Um, I use the Too Faced Stardust Palette by Vegas Nay, and it's really, really beautiful. And I've just been using it like every day, so definitely go out and get you one of these and please excuse my nails they look hideous and I need to get some color on this hair but that's another day thanks for watching and hope you enjoy bye hi everyone let's get started I'm going in with Becca ultimate coverage complexion cream in the shade cashmere and then I'm going to add a little Max Studio Sculpt Foundation in the shade NW20. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator in the shade Ice. And I'm putting that on a flat top Kabuki brush. I believe this one is Eco Tools. And I'm just going to blend that all over the face. And now I'm going in with Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. Um, it's a treatment concealer and it's supposed to erase dark circles. This is shade Fair Claire. And this is actually the first time I've used this and it's not as full coverage as I needed today. So I went back in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills full coverage concealer in the shade 1.5 and blended that out with a damp beauty blender. Okay, now I'm going in with e.l.f. Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm just going to go in and set that concealer with a powder before it starts creasing, and I believe I'm just using a fluffy Mor Morphe brush to do this. Okay, now I'm going to go in and contour my nose using the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer in shade Light. And then I'm going to take a eyeliner, it's just a brown eyeliner from Positions Formula that I use to um, contour my nose. take my beauty blender and blend that out really well and then I'll go back over and blend it with my finger as well to get that eyeliner nice and blended in. Okay, now I'm just going to go back in with that e.l.f. translucent setting powder and set that contour. Alright, now 
I'm going in with Becca Topaz, and this is actually a highlighter um, for darker skin tones, but here recently I've been using it as my contour. And I'm just using a Morphe angled brush to um, contour my cheekbones and my forehead and my jawline. And now I'm just using a fluffy powder brush to go in and blend out that contour so it's not such a harsh line. Just blending, blending, blending. And I'm just going to clean it up with a little e.l.f. translucent setting powder. Just going to go in right underneath the contour and put that powder so it will set and just clean up the edges. And I'm going back in with that. Physicians Formula Brown Eyeliner and just filling in my mole or my beauty mark. Just my little thing I do, my little something. Then I'm going to take my Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer and just warm up my face a little because I'm so pale in the winter. And I believe I got this in my Ipsy bag. I might have bought it from someone who got it in their Ipsy bag. I'm not sure. Um, and I'm just taking a Precision Beauty blush brush and just warming up my And now I'm using this blush I got at Sephora on sale and it is in the shade Golden Spice and it's just a warm fall colored like red blush. With, uh, now I'm going in with my Mary Luminizer highlighter from my Ipsy bag and it is made by The Balm. And I love this highlight. It is so pretty. You can use it as an eyeshadow or a highlighter. But I'm just going in and highlighting the highest points on my face with it. And I'm just using my finger. Sometimes I use a brush, but this sample size, it's easier to use your finger. Now I'm going in with my Lorac eyeshadow primer. It's called Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And I'm just putting that on my lid and blending it in with my finger. Now I'm just taking that e.l.f. translucent powder again and setting that eyeshadow primer. Now for the star of this show, the Too Faced Stardust Palette by Vegas Nay. Now I'm going in with Millennial and just putting that in the crease as my transition shade. Now I'm just taking a pointed crease butt brush by Morphe and blending that in really well so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm going in with a Morphe eyeshadow brush that's a little more dense and I'm mixing Girls Night and Follow Me. And I'm just putting that on the outer corner or the outer V. Now I'm just taking a clean uh, fluffy blending brush and blending 
those outer corners. So I'm just taking a dense brush by Morphe and I'm going in with double tap just to darken up that outer corner even more. I'm just keeping it right at the lash line and the crease on that outer V. I'm using a flat shader brush that I got in an Urban Decay palette and I'm going in with the color Pink Pearl right in the inner corner and the center of the lid, that the place where we haven't put anything, any shadow yet. Now I'm going in with the shade Selfie and it's just a little bit lighter than the Pink Pearl and I'm going to highlight the inner corner. This is Too Faced Glamour Dust in the shade Nude Bean, and it is so sparkly and shimmery, and I'm just adding that to the lightest portion of my lid, just to add some sparkle. Now I'm taking a flat definer brush by Morphe and I'm going in with Millennial on the lower lash line. Then I'll be mixing Girls Might and Follow Me and adding that down there as well. And finally, I'll be using Double Tap again in that outer corner on the lower lash line. Then I'll just take a blending brush and go in and blend it out. Now I'm using that Mary Luminizer again and I'm going to highlight the brow bone. I'm taking a angled eyeliner brush that I use by Morphe and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown and I'm going to be filling in my brows. Now I'm just using a spoolie brush and I'm just blending out the pomade so it looks just a little more natural. Now I'm going in with an eye crayon by Butte Basics in the color Sahara Gold. And I got this in my Ipsy bag and I really like it. Now I'm just using my e.l.f. cream eyeliner in the shade black. And I'm using an e.l.f. angled liner brush to do a winged liner.
starting my lashes with the Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced that actually came with my Stardust palette. Now I'm using the Maybelline New York Expert Wear in light brown. I'm not sure if this is a lip liner or an eyeliner, but I've been using it as a lip liner for a long time. Um, so I'm just putting that all around my lips, and then I'll just blend that in with my finger. Now I'm in with e.l.f. matte lip color in the shade T Rose, and this is my absolute favorite matte lipstick that I've ever owned, and it's so inexpensive. I think I paid $3 for this at Marshalls. I'll definitely be ordering more because this, this shade looks good on all skin tones, and it's just so pretty. Now I'm just going in with my Tarte Energy Lip Gloss that I also received in my Ipsy bag. And that is the completed look, you guys. I'm going to fix my hair and set my face with some Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray and pop on some Morphe Premium Lashes. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I also do videos about Jesus and about my dreams and visions. So if you're interested in that, check out those videos as well. Thanks and God bless.